Hello everyone and welcome back to iSharePoint All. This is a continuation of the last video I did. I did a video on using the Beautify component data table, using it in SharePoint and using a list as a data source. And as you can see right here is the component that we left off with. Um, and the problem we were having in the last video is when I was trying to sort, it, it wasn't sorting the way it should. Um, and so, but for some reason, after I turned the video off, you know, it, it just started sorting. I didn't really make any changes. No changes made. So let's do a quick recap of, of what we did. Uh, let me go to... So on the Viewify site, we have our data tables components that you can find. And um, here, is, here is what it's supposed to do. And if we open it up in CodePen, it actually shows you the code. So all we did was just copy this and then pasted it into our page. So let me open this up. And by the way, I am I'm using I'm in Office 365 SharePoint Online. And so I'm able to, if you're wondering, I'm able to edit my files inside the browser, but this is only for SharePoint Office 365 online. Um, I've never used SharePoint 2019 on-prem, so I don't know if that works the same way, but that this is what I'm using I'm, uh, in the cloud. So we pasted the HTML code in here, and here it is here. Let me remove this. We don't, that was just a test to see what's going on. And all I did, well, let me also bring up the JavaScript file. It'd make more sense. So here's my JavaScript file. Let me open this up as well. So here's my JavaScript file. Let me delete that. And all I did was I created a data table in my view instance. I have a data table that's an array. And then I set up my headers just like it did in the um, in the code of the Viewify. So you remember it has these headers that you need to set up. Um, and these headers correlate with what you see down here. And the values correlate with the list column. So that's what I have. So that's what I've set up here. I have announcements, details, keep. And the reason my keep wasn't working before is because it was my internal name was lowercase, not capital. And I had capital before, a capital letter K. Um, created, this is a lifecycle hook. It looks, it hooks in at different life cycles of your application. So right when the instance is ready, it calls this get list data, which is this method here. Here's my endpoint URL that's calling all the all the items from this expansion list and then I'm using Axios so once that endpoint is a success it returns um, the values all the items from my list and then I dump it into my data table array and then I'm good to go and then in my HTML let me go to my HTML file in my HTML file I'm pointing this item is pointing to my data table array. It's going to loop through. This headers is pointing to the headers in my JavaScript. So it's pointing to this headers here, th that property. Um, I think this controls some type of elevation with the header. I'm not sure. But you can go to the site and look that up. So that's that. And then... Um, all I do now is I just point to each of my columns. So my title column, my details column, and then my keep column. And doing all that creates what you see here. And it sorts for me, as you can see. It sorts. Sorts there as well. It has its pagination. It's all the way over there, but I'm sure if we do some type of tweaking, it can you can fix that. But that's that's it, it and it it works perfectly. And so, I hope you enjoyed that video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave that at the bottom of 
Um, please leave that in the comments section. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye.